Sifus I'm here in Modena, Italy. Wonderful place to be. And I'm here in June. It's the sixth today. And one of the reasons I came here, the primary reason, was because I'm a big fan of Luciano Pavarotti. I hate you, then I love you, then I love you, then I hate you. And the first thing you come to after parking your little Fiat, the first thing you come to, of course, is something that was very fond, that pa Pavarotti was very fond of, and that was la pasta. This is the first thing you see, Ristorante Europa 92. Pavarotti was one of the owners and the place continues to be shrine for him. There's a man that knew what his priorities were, right? He wanted to be a soccer player when he was a young lad. I think when he was 14, he set his mind on becoming a soccer player. And he was a good athlete, strong set of shoulders, strong kid. And then he got into singing and at the same time probably loved his pasta. So that's what happens sometimes. People get into those things. Anyway, we're going to go in and check out Pavarotti's home. So this is where Pavarotti lived. And I'm so happy to be here. Look at this beautiful countryside in Modena, Italia. Summer of 2019, June 6th. And I'm Sifu Slim. And I'm a huge fan of Pavarotti. Here, here's where he lived. Don't know where he was born. We will soon find out. But he was a showman. A lover of many things. And this is where he lived. And it's just a, sp a splendid feeling you get from being here. I'm so excited. So let's go check it out. And I love you more. Gotta start with the biglietteria. You are the guy? There's oh, my guy. In the house there is a 12 room. 12 room. This is the last one, number 12. You return here in the final of your tour. Each room has a number. You press the corresponding number in the audio guide and listen. Okay. Where, where, where was he born, Nasito? Uh, in uh, another mm, building, but old building. Here? No. Yeah, but now I... It's gone? Yeah, because uh, uh, after the war, 35... So he's living in the house that his mother and father lived in? No, I live here with the, the last family. The last family. Uh, Nicoletta and Alice. Alice. And of course... The most important part of Pavarotti's house is casa, the kitchen. <laughs> A lover of food and good times. When I got to Modena, Italy, I knew people who knew other people who knew Pavarotti as a young lad. And the word is, is that Pavarotti was known at age 8, 10, and 12 as a young lad to go to his friends' houses and raid the refrigerator and the cupboard. Certo, lui da modenese puro era amante dei tortellini, però ogni tanto spaziava anche su altri piatti. So he was a binge eater perhaps as part of his nature, as a pattern that lasted throughout his life. E lasciavano la roba nel piatto e lui arraffava tutti i piatti dei bambini perché era un gioco perché lui cercava sempre una scusa per un alibi per mangiare. So we need to be cognizant of those patterns, especially the negative ones, and seek help and assistance with those patterns. And in Povarotti's case, that pattern got the best of him. The average American is consuming. 50% of their diet is carbohydrate, which is, I believe, and many others believe, is an artifact of this low-fat myth. This is what Edison said some time ago. The doctor of the future will not treat the human body with medicines, but will cure it through food. And that time is now. But mostly in recent years, it is his girth, his weight, that has been the subject of speculation. <laughs> and I say to the state director quietly, I don't want to be here from the other colleague, of course. I say, listen, if I am going to sit in that chair, I'm going to break it. 
In fact, Luciano can be most diplomatically described as portly. And it turns out that laziness is one reason for his weight problem. But the weight problem of a person like me has just one answer, eat. Because without exercise, there's just simply no way you can ever achieve optimal health. And there he is in his tropical Hawaiian style shirt. Luciano. Pleasure to meet you, Luciano. Luciano. Buongiorno. Come stai? Do you, do you think that your huggable extra inches helps to produce that beautiful resonance? I think so. <laughs> Here we find ourselves in the wardrobe area, the display of wardrobe from Luciano Pavarotti. Let's take a look. 1961 La Boheme, Puccini's opera. He played Rodolfo. He was quite a painter, too. He was enraptured with painting. Sometimes in the 90s would paint all night long. Can you imagine what it would be like in Verona to play here? So the cloth in his hand became his trademark because he was nervous. Quite a strong man and an imposing character. He loves uh, to teach. Some of his artwork. Welcome to the awards room. State of Texas, honorary Texan, Order of the Italian Sons and Daughters of America. There's Stevie Wonder and Celine Dion and Bon Jovi, other stars. Pavarotti and Friends for the Children of Liberia. In 1998, he did a fundraiser. Placido Domingo, the three tenors. City of New York, where he lived for many years. Jacques Chirac, president of France. The group of dignitaries, Jack Nicholson, Colin Powell, Quincy Jones, Julie Andrews, George. Bush and his wife, Laura Bush. The Room of Honors. Classical Artist of the Decade, 1980 to 89, from Billboard. Académie du Disque Français. Way into Pavarotti's bathroom. So we've got some really cool furnishings here. And then a home sauna. And the most important for all, at least this is what people think, is the scale. Being a fitness and wellness and life educator and coach, I suggest that people don't base their health on the scale. While it might be helpful sometime to check in on your weight, it shouldn't be a daily occurrence or even a weekly occurrence unless you're training for a prize fight, which Pavarotti wasn't. I would say that your calendar and your morning of mind, body, and spirit connection and your movement program are far more important than the scale. So there's the scale, and people of all shapes and sizes seem enamored with scales. And uh, people who think as I do say, get rid of the scale, you don't need it, or don't use it. But if you have it, you're probably gonna use it, but that become neurotic about weight, and then exercise becomes a penalty for being overweight, which is not a good thing. It also becomes a penalty for being inactive, which is not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a joy, recreational joy, where you go out and you connect in nature as much as possible, mind, body, and spirit. And then the diet comes along with it. If you start with a diet, you know, and you're, uh, you're trying to lose weight, you're probably gonna fail. But if you start with the connection, mind, body, and spirit, and then you work diet into it naturally because the more you take care of yourself and the mind, body, and spirit, the more you want to put good fuel and vitamins and minerals and all those good things into your body. And so that's why I say start with the movement and the, and the diet will follow along. So there, that's my recommendation. And uh, Pavarotti, Barry White, who sang with him, uh, they weren't apparently into the mind, body, and spirit thing through physical movement, uh, and they became very sedentary and very obese. Not a good thing. But, um, you know, he did, he did what he did, which was an incredible contribution to the world and to himself, and uh, so more power to him. But uh, no, what, what's so hard, in my opinion, about working in one hour a day? <laughs> In my case, there's more, 
but in just minimum one hour a day of connection, mind, body, and spirit with some movement and with some breathing and some love and some nature and some grounding. So that's what I'm suggesting you do. Some really important principles that I hope you'll be able to simply um, grasp and share with others because that's really the part, part, most important part of the message is to share this information with others so that we can improve the consciousness and improve the health of everyone on, the, on these really vital issues. Luciano, and the next time I see you in the hereafter, we can go over that with an open heart and an open mind and we'll see what you have to say. Ciao, ci vediamo. Sifu Slim, SifuSlim.com. Take a look at the aging athlete and Are You Raising a Child Athlete and Sedentary Nation. They're all on Amazon. I hope you enjoy them. Help, I hope they help you through your walk through life. Take care. Ciao.